In geometry, a translation slides a thing by a ta p equals p plus a. In physics and mathematics, continuous translational symmetry is the invariance of a system of equations under any translation. Discrete translational symmetry is invariant under discrete translation. Analogously an operator A on functions is said to be translationally invariant with respect to a translation operator T delta display style T underscore delta if the result after applying a doesn't change if the argument function is translated more precisely it must hold that delta a f equals a t delta f display style for all delta a f equals a t underscore delta f laws of physics are translationally invariant under a spatial translation if they do not distinguish different points in space According to Noether's theorem, space translational symmetry of a physical system is equivalent to the momentum conservation law. Translational symmetry of an object means that a particular translation does not change the object. For a given object, the translations for which this applies form a group, the symmetry group of the object, or, if the object has more kinds of symmetry, a subgroup of the symmetry group. <laughs> Geometry Translational invariance implies that, at least in one direction, the object is infinite. For any given point P, the set of points with the same properties due to the translational symmetry form the infinite discrete set P plus Na, n element of Z equals P plus Z A. Fundamental domains are e.g. h plus 0, 1 A for any hyperplane H for which A has an independent direction. This is in 1D a line segment, in 2D an infinite strip, and in 3D a slab, such that the vector starting at one side ends at the other side. Note that the strip and slab need not be perpendicular to the vector, hence can be narrower or thinner than the length of the vector. In spaces with dimension higher than 1, there may be multiple translational symmetry. For each set of k independent translation vectors, the symmetry group is isomorphic with zk. In particular, the multiplicity may be equal to the dimension. This implies that the object is infinite in all directions. In this case, the set of all translations forms a lattice. Different bases of translation vectors generate the same lattice if and only if one is transformed into the other by a matrix of integer coefficients of which the absolute value of the determinant is 1. The absolute value of the determinant of the matrix formed by a set of translation vectors is the hypervolume of the n-dimensional parallelepiped the set subtens also called the covolume of the lattice. This parallelepiped is a fundamental region of the symmetry, any pattern on or in it is possible, and this defines the whole object. See also lattice group. E.g. in 2D, instead of a and b we can also take a and a minus b, etc. In general in 2D, we can take Pa plus QB and Ra plus SB for integers P, Q, R, and S such that P S minus Q R is 1 or minus 1. This ensures that A and B themselves are integer linear combinations of the other two vectors. If not, not all translations are possible with the other pair. Each pair A, B defines a parallelogram, all with the same area, the magnitude of the cross product. One parallelogram fully defines the whole object. 
Without further symmetry, this parallelogram is a fundamental domain. The vectors a and b can be represented by complex numbers. For two given lattice points, equivalence of choices of a third point to generate a lattice shape is represented by the modular group, C lattice group. Alternatively, e.g. a rectangle may define the whole object, even if the translation vectors are not perpendicular, if it has two sides parallel to one translation vector, while the other translation vector starting at one side of the rectangle ends at the opposite side. For example, consider a tiling with equal rectangular tiles with an asymmetric pattern on them, all oriented the same, in rows, with for each row a shift of a fraction, not one half, of a tile, always the same, then we have only translational symmetry, wallpaper group P1 the same applies without shift. With rotational symmetry of order 2 of the pattern on the tile we have P2 more symmetry of the pattern on the tile does not change that, because of the arrangement of the tiles. The rectangle is a more convenient unit to consider as fundamental domain or set of two of them than a parallelogram consisting of part of a tile and part of another one. In 2D there may be translational symmetry in one direction for vectors of any length. One line, not in the same direction, fully defines the whole object. Similarly, in 3D there may be translational symmetry in one or two directions for vectors of any length. One plane cross -section or line, respectively, fully defines the whole object. Topic Examples Topic Text An example of translational symmetry in one direction in two DNR one is Note the example is not an example of rotational symmetry. Example 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 Get the same by moving one line down and two positions to the right, and of translational symmetry in two directions in 2D wallpaper group P1 Asterisk, 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 asterisk Asterisk, 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 asterisk Asterisk, 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 asterisk. Get the same by moving three positions to the right, or one line down and two positions to the right, consequently, get also the same moving three lines down. In both cases there is neither mirror image symmetry nor rotational symmetry. For a given translation of space we can consider the corresponding translation of objects. The objects with at least the corresponding translational symmetry are the fixed points of the latter, not to be confused with fixed points of the translation of space, which are non-existent. Calculus The Fourier transform with subsequent computation of absolute values is a translation invariant operator. The mapping from a polynomial function to the polynomial degree is a translation invariant functional. The Lebesgue measure is a complete translation invariant measure. Topic. See also Glide reflection Displacement Periodic function Lattice group Translation operator quantum mechanics Rotational symmetry 
Lorentz symmetry Tessellation Mathematics of waves and cycles <laughs>